Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about The Cleaning Lady, which I think is on Netflix, perhaps? I found it through Amazon Prime Video, I just searched it, and it popped up. So feel free to check it out, see if you can find it somewhere streaming or in physical copy. I believe this film is from 2018, so not super long ago. The film opens up with Alice laying on a bed with her lover, Michael. She's describing a dream to him that seems to be a reoccurring one for her. She's really bothered by it. And his solution is to take off to Italy for three solid weeks where she's just kind of like, mm-hmm, you've said that before. You've said that many times before. And it, I guess he, he doesn't pay out, you know, the trip. Turns out he's married and not to her. And, um, she's in a support group for, it's like, a she's a, like a serial lover. Like she just needs to have that other person there, you know, whether they're married or not. And, uh, she falls hard and she can't seem to quit them. You know, she's kind of a love addict. So that's, that's a problem straight off the bat. You find out, you know, things are really complicated for her. And she runs an aesthetics business out of her house. And she ends up meeting Shelly, who is employed by the the apartment owner, kind of to do like general upkeep, maintenance, fish a whole bunch of hair out of a bathtub drain, in Alice's case, out of her bathtub. And that's how she meets her, you know, holding clump of hair and also a Ziploc bag with a dead rat. Gross. So... It seems like Alice kind of, you know, is judging Shelly by the way she looks. She's extremely disfigured. She has a lot of burns on her face and just seems, you know, very timid. And she kind of just, oh, well, you know, she's in this position. Why don't I take her under my wing kind of thing? At least that's the impression I got. Like she was trying to keep herself busy by befriending her. And she offers her, you know, under the table gig, like, oh, hey, if you could come clean my house, like, I think she said Tuesdays and Fridays, I'll give you a hundred bucks. To which she's like, kind of reluctant, but then accepts the offer. Um, as uh, Alice is going to her meetings, you know, she's really advised by her sponsor, she needs to cut ties immediately and just stop responding, like, do not interact with him. And that's how, you know, this is going to end, which of course she doesn't, but she ends up kind of getting Shelly to stay for dinner, you know, watch movies with her, keeps giving her, you know, dresses and shows her how to use makeup. And we start to realize that maybe Shelly's not this, you know, innocent little person just working in the apartment complex, she probably has a really deep, dark history and didn't really adequately explain how she got those burns on her face. I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. What did I like about this movie? Um, this movie's disgusting. When it opens up, like trigger warning, someone is catching rats and then puts them in a blender and then they infer what happens as she's pouring this, like, red gloopy stuff into a bowl. That's disgusting. Like, I'm not a big fan of mice because I live in the country and they ruin my life. But, like, also I don't want any little creatures meeting their end that way, inferred or not. Like, that's no. I don't like that. I covered the cat's eyes while we were watching it. But it was very gory and it got a reaction out of me, so... I mean, I guess that's a like. I don't know. I liked um, the premise, I suppose. It was a little bit convoluted and there were a lot of storylines going on all at once. There was, of course, Alice and Michael, the married man, and then Michael and his wife, and then there was Alice and her sponsor, and then there was Alice and Shelley, and it was all, like, a little confusing and it seemed you know, maybe if we didn't have all of these storylines, the pacing could have been a bit better. They could have cut it down, cut some of it out or condensed it. Like maybe, you know, the stuff with Alice or not Alice with Shelly and her mother, I felt like that could have been condensed a whole lot more. Like you, you don't need to 
hand feed the audience every single detail. Like we, we can guess things. We can like kind of put things together. It's okay. I'm supposed to be talking about my likes. Uh, it was gross. I liked it. I liked that it was gross. Um, I guess I kind of just transitioned into my dislikes, but like the pacing, the animal cruelty, um, not a big fan of that. Um, I felt like I said, like they could have condensed the storylines down. We didn't need all of that. Um, it would have been a solid movie without it. I don't remember what the running time was. I want to say it was like, um, an hour 40 something. And I feel like could have chopped out a good half hour of that probably, but that's my opinion. Um, I'd probably rate this like a two out of five. It wasn't terrible, but it just, it could have been a lot more than what it was for me, at least. Uh, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Leave me some comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have any recommendations for movies that are on Amazon Prime streaming right now or Netflix or Hulu or Shudder that maybe you think I'd like? Let me know. I'm open to anything. Almost. With movies. I'm not a big, like, rom-com kind of person. Or romantic movies in general. But, uh, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their creative, creative, all of their wonderful creators and their content as well. Sometimes you just have a brain fart. It's like eight o'clock on a Sunday and I'm not looking forward to starting work back up, but all right. Hope you have a good night, guys. See you later. Bye.